So we're actually going after El Dorado, which is a uh, kind of interesting. I'm not as young as I used to. It's really funny. The graphics in this game are better in game than uh, they are in cutscenes, which is odd because usually it's the other way around. But yeah, you, you can kind of see the graphics didn't really hold up too well. Okay, they look fine. But if you actually look at the detail of stuff, it isn't as detailed as stuff these days, you know. So if you don't know, Sully is just sort of... At the moment, he's just a random guy who helps Nate. Um, but you learn eventually in the third one that it was actually Sully who got Nate into treasure hunting. And uh, it was all because Sully did it, uh, help Nate. I don't know. Graphical glitch. We'll get to the third one eventually, and you guys can see the whole story. Well. Get it. According to this, we're right on top of the mark. Maybe you're not reading that thing right. Let me see it. No, this is the place. There's nothing here, Nate. Another goddamn dead end. Easy, Sully. Just relax. Let's take a look around. But how hyped do you guys for the fourth game? This is like trying to find a bride in a brothel. Cause I'm <laughs> I'm not as psyched as I would have been. This is more like it. Because the third one wasn't my favourite. The third one was, wasn't that good. Um What do you think this is, Lincoln? Nah, it's older than that. Like two thousand years older. Huh. But uh, either way, I'm pretty psyched for it. At the moment, I, I think I know where to go. But I don't want to go and uh, completely sort of run through everything. Because like I said, I know where to go at this point. But um, I forgot more needs to happen before that. There should be somewhere like There you go. Okay, now hopefully <laughs> I can recall this. Find anything? Nothing yet. I'm pretty sure we have to find. In fact, yeah, there, there's the boulder. But we're pretty sure we get that boulder. Hey, there's something funny about the ground down there. And uh, we drop it on the wood down there. It's hollow. We gotta find a way to smash through this. Ah. Oh. Oh, okay, he made a foot on. I thought you had to jump that part. I do, it, it doesn't rival Assassin's Creed, but this is still <laughs> a pretty good mechanic for climbing. Like, uh, as far as the adventure game goes, I think they nailed this one. Well, hang on a minute, hang on a minute. I was expecting to take damage, maybe die. He just fell from 30, maybe higher, maybe 40, 30, 40 feet, and survived. Oh, oh, oh. 
I thought it was spiders for a minute. Don't ask me why the spiders were flying. What a warm and homey place, huh? <laughs> well, not quite what you were expecting, huh? Yeah. Where's all the damn gold? Yeah, this place was picked clean centuries ago. No good limey pirate. No, it wasn't Drake. Check this out. Looks like the Spanish got here before he did. What the hell, Sully? Nate, I'm not looking for a lousy piece of tin. I'm up to my eyeballs in debt. I was really counting on this one. Too many big bar tabs in Lima, I guess. <laughs> that and, well, just a few bad deals. Yeah, well, I always told you to stay away from the bad guys. And the bad girls. Yeah? Look who's talking. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? That reporter? I saw the way you were eyeing her. Elena? Please. I snuffed any chance with her the second we ditched her on that dock. <laughs> All's fair in love and war, kid. Yeah. Uh, and what if you can't tell the difference? Then, my friend, you are in big trouble. Do it all the way through this whole thing. You you'll love Sunny. Sure He'll be one of the favorite characters. I wonder if I have to shoot that. Ah, oh, look at that. Sorry if that happens quite a bit. Where I just know what's going to happen. I just know what to do all the time. If I know what's going to happen, I won't spoil it. I won't say anything, and I'll keep quiet. But um. If I know what to do, I'm not going to waste my time, unless I get confused, then I'll have to. Here, let me do that. Any day now? We could be quicker. Been fine. Let's hope this place has a back door, huh? You know, this looks familiar. I think there's something in Drake's journal. This is one of the features that I wish they kept in the other games because they sort of had something yeah, similar. It is. But they thought like they dropped it and didn't really do too much with it. Crazy. It's sad because it's really cool. See if you can light it. So, after all your bitching about the cigar, now it comes in handy, huh? More. Oh, there you go. Nice. Just one. Beautiful. Because he's just stuff like that. I know what's going to happen. I know what to do. So I'm not going to waste everyone's time and pretend not to know. Uh, I although it's a uh, great mechanic. You can slightly cheat this game. With little bits like that. You can see the way. Anyway, again, that was a 25 foot drop and you just like casually landed it. But uh, <laughs> you can cheat this game's climbing mechanics. Also, why do they leave these barrels everywhere? Come on. Wait, how does setting fire to something do that? You could argue, oh, because it like burns a rope or something. But hang on a minute, didn't they say Francis Drake already went through here? 
Also, the Spaniards who took the gold, they went through here as well. So how come, if there was such a thing as the rope, and it burnt, and that's how it worked, how come other people have gone through? Either way, it still looks cool. And I love this part. I love these puzzles of all. You know, remind me of the old Tomb Raider games. Wait, I recognize these cells. The order of these signs has some importance. So as I recall, we have to push the signs in the correct order. So it's the uh, odd square shape thing. There you go. This is number one. Thankfully, there's no timer on this. Other gamers, other games would have put a timer on this. Uh, then, man with a sword, which I guess is over there. Okay, I think that's number three, that one is. Okay, that one's number three, so we've got to get over here. Over to man with sword. There you go. And then back over here. And I guess the quickest way would be here. Chip across and let's double check. Yeah, it's the last one. There you go, not too hard. Although I do remember this one uh, because it's the first one you do. Later puzzles, I can't actually recall any of them that come later on. I can't actually remember any of the levels later on anyway. I remember one, I think. Well, that's it. Pretty deep. Yeah, looks like there's a ladder cut into the side. Wait here while I check it out. All right, let's be careful. I climbed down there because I thought that's where I thought the ladder was. So we, oh, okay, I was climb up and then drop down again. Hey, watch your step down there. I actually remember the first time I played this game, I thought you had to fall into the water, so I actually jumped from all the way up there and landed in the water. And uh, it took me a long time before I finally realised, no, you're actually meant to climb down. I was young, okay. Okay, getting somewhere. So now I have to jump down into it. <laughs> One question. How is Sully gonna get down here? Because <laughs> he says he's not gonna climb. But, uh. Is he just gonna jump from up there? <laughs> or is there another way? Oh, there you go, there's another way. I made it! I'm on the other side! What a jump. Let's just stand back here. And more conveniently placed bowels. Nice one. I 
I got this one. Can you just hold this or no you have to just tap it? And this part's actually the one of the more fun parts of the game. Definitely a more memorable part. And this this sort of becomes a staple of the uh, Uncharted series in a way. This sort of running away from the impossible. Let's keep going. Now it looks like we're getting somewhere. After that, we better be. Oh man. The temple must have been built around this. Around what? A statue. Gold statue. A huge gold statue. And look here, these people, they're worshipping the damn thing. At least, I think they're people. Of course. El Dorado, the golden man. Sully, it wasn't a city of gold. It was this. It was a golden idol. Man, can you imagine what that thing would be worth now? Look over here, tracks. I bet the Spanish dragged it out on cut logs. <laughs> We're 400 years late for this party. So the trail's cold. Yeah, it looks that way. Son of a bitch. Unless... Unless what? We follow the tracks. I'm not quite sure I'd follow the tracks. I want a good question. If it's a statue of God, why are there three tracks? Because if it was rectangle shaped, huh. wouldn't it have here. just the one or just two? Spaniards must have made themselves a shortcut to get the treasure out. Now what? No, the more climbing, you know, we keep going this way. How much would a statue like that be worth? So I have no idea of the Wait, Sully, do you hear sort that? of value of gold, but uh, well, there's something you don't see every day. My God, that's still awesome. I don't care how many times I see it. That's I should screenshot that. I should screenshot it and make it a background. I want that picture famed. I'll be damned. Must have come up the river during flood season and gotten stuck. Let's check it out, huh? No, uh, wait, wait, wait. Something about this feels kind of hinky. Hinky? You act like you've never seen a German U-boat in the middle of the jungle before. Uh, I'm being serious, Nate. <laughs> I tell you what, why don't you stay here? I'll check it out myself. I'll call you if I run into any Nazis. Yeah, right. You do that. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on to this for me, will ya? Okay. Looks like I'm gonna have to do this the hard way. 